All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the guard I caught earlier. I'm going to show you how to clean him. And then later on at the house, I'll show you how to cook him. And you will not tell it's a fish. All right, we got the saws on. I'm going to leave this fish up here. We're going to cut his head off first. Like I told you on the dock. Then we're going to cut his tail off. Then we're going to skin him out. But this is the easiest way i found to do it. See how quick that was? And the head goes bye bye. See, that's what I knew about what it's gonna do. Might have to uh, hold him up and drain him a minute where I don't get too much stuff on him. Table, don't be there with blood. I'll touch it. video up here if you want to. Help my head. I'm just draining a little bit of blood. You don't have to do this. I just don't want it all over his table. I think it's powering off. Hmm? It's powering off. The red light's blinking, but there's nothing on the screen. Oh, it goes black. It goes black. Yeah, cool. And that's it. I don't want to on the top of there, but I don't know how to hold him to keep it from getting up there. I'm going to cut him right above these two fins here. That way I ain't got no fins in there. Is he bugging? Yeah. Had to get it started. Done with the saws on. Now I ain't got ten snips. Mm. And since my brother's wanting to hide here for a uh, knife sheath, I'm not gonna cut it down the center like I usually do. You shine that on me. I don't touch don't the know. back of it. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is cut it right down the center. I'm not, I usually cut it right down the center here. That way I just fold it out this way and fold it out this way and take them two loins right here. But since my brother's wanting this skin, I'm gonna come in from the side right here by this white line. I'm gonna cut right down this side here and fillet that hole from here around to here. Then you can have to hide. Get my 10 snips. My old trusties. You put a layer along. She's sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping Papa. good, ain't he? She's sleeping. Mm. We're dirty dead. Don't try to do this with no knife. You don't. Hmm. All right, down to 10 snips. Whew. Ay, ay, ay. Good noise. Ow. And he want the skin. They gonna be some cleaning extra to do on the skin because I can't get to it like I should from this angle. All them bones right there, them belly bones. I'm just trying to stay in there, and I ain't gonna let them.
Watch ready. He's my dad. Yeah, my fish dad. It's okay. Skin. Yeah, I'm gonna have to when I get on. That's what you call fresh when he jumps like that. That going up. You still got, there's a lot of bones in these boogers. But you got to get behind them on, between them and that skin. Are you peeing in the wind? Mama. A lot easier going up that back so y'all see me doing it on the belly side don't do that go up just right up the back unless you want to hide for something This for she did not. Oh, don't make me skin that side too. Yes, it's going to. Okay. Yeah, to put the choker on the vice. Doing it this way. I never done one off of the belly like this. This will be the last one I do off of the belly like this too. See, all we're doing is taking these two fillets out, making them boneless. Well, Yeah, it usually don't take nowhere near this length of time to uh, pull these out. So y'all don't go by that with me doing this. If you cut that top like I showed you, you'll be right here on top of it instead of going underneath. Got my knife in my finger.
Turn, nice little fillets. Just little nuggets in there. Then you cut them up and just, I'll show you that in a little bit when I get them back to the house. Just for laying right out. Real nice. Some good grubbing out there. Coming out pretty. That's it. That's trash. That's grub. Oh. And there you have it. That's how you clean the gar. Now. We'll get her home and cook the car. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I told you I'd show you how to cook these gar nuggets. People call them gar balls, gar nuggets, whatever, because they're so, see how thin that, how small this strip is down there? That's a pretty good size gar too, and that's what it yields. Two of these, but they're boneless. There's no bones in these. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut them into probably half inch to three quarter inch slices. Just like little catfish nuggets. And then we're just gonna batter them and fly them just like a fish. You will never taste a fishy taste on this gar. Don't ask me why. I guess it's because of the skin that they have. It's so thick. You cannot tell this is gar. You can't even tell it's a fish. When I get done with it. Alright, that should be good. I got a dull spot in this knife, I can tell. Alright. See, this little half inch, three quarters. Little nuggets, like gator nuggets. Just like that. Look like little scallops almost. If they was perfectly round. Yeah, my brother gonna do a knife sheath with that um, gar skin I left over there to for him. That's gonna look nice once he gets it buffed out and everything. In fact is I may I may show you all that if I get a chance to once he gets it done. I may show you guys um the finished product on that gar blade. Cause my brother does knives and handles and sheaths and stuff like that. So uh oh. <coughs> <coughs> Hey, don't. Get. Ah. There we go. All right, she's all cut up. Yeah, that's worth getting. 
that'll that'll make you survive, dude. If you out there surviving, let's go our go our nuggets. <coughs> Now I'm going to turn the stove on. You get my grease hot. I can fry them up. And I always put my fish meal out of the way. I always put my fish meal too high where I couldn't reach it. I was scratching. Ah. And we're just gonna take these, dunk them all in here, and batter them up while that grease is getting hot. It's just me here, so this will make plenty. Ugh. I just take batter them up. Cornmeal. Oh shoot. I hope I put some dang salt or garlic salt in that dang cornmeal beforehand. But that didn't season that joker. I just put them right on in there. And I'm not washing the seasoning off, the flour off. Not flour. I'm not washing the cornmeal off. <laughs> just so I can season it. I'm trying to season it in the pan. I think I got some garlic salt in this cornmeal here now but like i said i'm not positive so don't hold me to that all right grease is getting hot go ahead and chunk one in there that way we can this is going to be soggy i'm going to throw it out but i can tell by that one piece i ain't got to waste no more in fact if i ain't gonna waste that i'm gonna give it to charlie dog charlie dog eat it all She's such a good girl. Why is this camera? I'm having all kind of technical difficulties with these GoPro parts. Especially the little uh, tripod that wants to just keep flopping around everywhere. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyhow, but y'all stay tuned. We'll have her cooked up here shortly. Y'all in a little garlic. All their little gar balls in there, little gar nuggets. And people say they're trash fish. They're not a trash fish. They might be trash to y'all because you don't like to eat them or haven't tried them. But trust me, they are not trash. You just need a sawzall and a pair of tin snips to get into them to get the meat out. Easiest way ever. All right, so y'all stand by. I'm going to go ahead and cook these things up. When I get them done, um, I might take a couple over to Mr. Gerald or somebody and have them try them. And we all can see how they react to them. Because I know how good they are. All right, see y'all in a few. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there they are. Nice and golden brown. Gar, nu gar nuggets. And I made a little tartar sauce homemade to go with it. So, these are still hot because I just took them out of the pan. I think they're a little too hot to try one right now. So, give me a minute or two and uh, I'll get back with you for trying them. Try to get the neighbor to try one too if he's home. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Never throw away a gar. Never throw away a gar. Especially the bigger one. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. That's no... I didn't put any seasoning on it neither. Except for after I got them fried. I, uh, put some salt on there. Taste it with a little tartar sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all don't know what y'all missing. Mm. Me and Joe are fixing to go eat these things up. I'm fixing to walk out there because I know he ain't eat yet. I see him out there. So, you waiting on some guard girl? He's like, I want to see what it'll do or if it'll work and all. I'm like, okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> he ended up working it. I sat there and watched How's him. How's that guard, Mr. 
How's that going, Delicious, Mr. delicious. Superb. That's some the beautiful... best meat you ever put in your mouth, really. Yeah, that's some pretty dang white meat, ain't it? White. Soft and... Yeah. Charlie it's loving that stuff. Mm-hmm. No, y'all, she she chewed like that. It's not it's not tough at all. It's tender as heck. She chewed like that because she don't have many teeth left. She's getting old. That's why her tongue sticks out the bottom of her mouth because all the bottom teeth is about gone. Or between the two canines anyway. So her tongue stick out. Ain't it right, Charlie Dog? You like that gar? You like that gore? Mm. That's some good stuff, ain't it? Yeah, Daddy, I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Lick them choppers. Lick them choppers. Who likes it, Daddy? Who likes it, Daddy? There ain't no bones in it or nothing. You don't have to... Mm-mm. No, straight place. Just them two little damn... Or two little nuggets in the... Mm-hmm. 